Hi dear students of Gatewala, welcome to the session of Gate Instrumentation for 2023. This session is exclusively suitable for the students of instrumentation who are willing to write Gate Instrumentation as option number 1 and also keeping in mind the students of Electrical and ECE who already completed the preparation of Electrical and ECE and in the process of revision but they have chosen the instrumentation paper as option 2. For them also this session will be. Last year and before last year, many of electrical students have also written instrumentation as paper 2 and they have secured good ranks comparatively their core branch. Of course, they are having certain advantages and disadvantages of writing option 2 as instrumentation. Here I am not discussing about that. What are the subjects that are going to be deferred? And how much time duration is required to complete those subjects in just two months of time before going for the exam of gate instrumentation? Let us go through it. If you see just the students who are writing the gate instrumentation for the first time, just I want to give some basic information. The basic information here is this organizing institute is IIT Kanpur. And the most important point is third year BTEC students are also eligible for appearing the gate examination since, since gate 2021 this was available. Next, gate score is valid for three years and the candidate can appear two papers, instrumentation as option number one though have choose. that means instrumentation students they can write also allowed for the second stream that means who can, who can who can write the instrumentation? See, instrumentation students can write biomedical paper, EC paper, double E paper, and mechanical paper. And surprisingly, mechanical engineering students can write instrumentation paper as option two. Of course, other things are there: AE, NM, PI, XE. And EC students can write computer science as option two, electrical as option two, instrumentation also as option two, and physics also as option two. Electrical students can write EC paper as option 2, instrumentation paper as also option 2. That means instrumentation paper can be chosen by option 2 by electrical students and EC students and mechanical students also. Okay, dear. So please try to understand this particular information. So, why they have contributed instrumentation option 2? especially for mechanical engineering students why instrumentation has given as option to the reason behind is mechatronics there are certain colleges in south india which are offering mechatronics branch in an extensive level for the mechanical engineers where instrumentation concepts are also necessary that's why the gate mechanical people are eligible to do mtech in mechatronics so for that is the reason why instrumentation is added most of all the subjects in mechatronics are related to instrumentation Coming to the number of questions asked are 10 from the general aptitude, sorry, maths and 55 questions are coming from the subject. Distribution of the mark, general aptitude is 15 marks, engineering mathematics 13 marks, subject based questions 72 marks. So, the paper contains 1 mark questions and 2 marks questions. The paper contains MCQ my dear. The paper contains MSQ my dear and the paper also contains numerical answer type questions. MCQ means only one option is right. MSQ means one option or two options or three options or four options also right. Numerical answer type no will be, there will be no options just you have to give the correct answer. And coming to the most important point distribution of the marks generally from the gate 2021 onwards gate 2021 onwards this is the strategy they are following. General aptitude 15 marks is given, engineering mass coming uh, around 13, subject base we are coming 72. Chalo. Now, what are the subjects that are differing? What are the subjects that are differing, my dear? This is most important. Instrumentation students or electrical students or EC students, that to keep in mind, there are certain subjects in which certain extra syllabus is added. For example, if you see the digital electronics subject, digital electronics subject, in the digital electronics subject almost everything is same up to this level. Electrical and EC students 
up to this level the syllabus is same the syllabus is same up to this level so this is a common syllabus now if you are writing for the instrumentation paper you have to start from the basics of number systems embedded, embedded systems microprocessors microcontrollers applications memory and input output interfacing basics of data acquisition systems basics of distributed control systems and programmable logical controller so these are the underlined which are the extra topics for the gate instrumentation paper that means a ec student who already completed digital electronics up to this in next one month if they prepare these topics then you can write instrumentation paper also successfully for this subject <coughs> if you see i have pointed out the extra topics the extra topics are embedded systems which are including microprocessor microcontroller microprocessor means they can ask the question from 8085 8086 also microcontroller means it is 8051 my dear next memory and input output interfacing we got a question in 8086 in the last 2021 year next basics of data acquisition system basics of distributed control system plcs is one of the important topic for the electrical students also in recent non gate exams plcs and scada have been added so please note the list of these extra topics if you can find the proper material you can complete this preparation just in a matter of one month only four to five topics are extra next the next subject what are the added new topics i have already mentioned here embedded systems basics of dcs and plcs are added there are no topics of remote and what is the advantage of this particular adding the subjects best topics related to industrial jobs that is the reason why they have added industry is hot cake market for plcs and dcs and embedded systems the next subject that is extra for instrumentation students and what is the extra syllabus if you see the measurement subjects the measurement subject is common for gate ee and gate instrumentation but gate instrumentation people are having extra topics the extra topics are si units standards rlc voltage current and frequency so this is one extra topic and also at the end the shielding and grounding so these are some extra topics are added and of, oh, of course linear and weighted regression this is also one extra topic added for gate instrumentation students if you see the extra topics i have mentioned si units standards linear and weighted regression ac and dc probes shielding and four topics okay so that means what comparatively measurements of electrical the students of electrical electrical stream if they want to write instrumentation stream they have to keep in mind this particular subjects this particular topics also they focus and the next subject which is the core subject of instrumentation so this is a core subject of instrumentation so this is a completely new for electrical students or ec students or biomedical of course biomedical students are having some awareness but electrical and ec students is a completely new subject so here if you see is a completely new subject so this takes around 35 to 40 hours of preparation and of course most of all the questions are easily answerable if you know the analog electronics network theory and op amps and this subject optical instrumentation of course if you see communication is common but the optical instrumentation differs so for the ec students the extra topics they have to study is from this particular point optical sources and detectors led laser photodiode and light dependent resistor square law detectors and their characteristics and interferometers applications and metrology basics of fiber optic sensing uv visible spectrophotometers and mass spectrometer so this is a completely new syllabus and this particular preparation will be useful if you are preparing here in the coming isro exams or if any space related exams if any generalized non gate exams are coming in that paper also optical instruments are coming at least one or two questions are coming nowadays last year gate 2022 instrumentation paper we got six marks from the optical instrumentation so in recent years the optical instrumentation weightage is increasing and most of all the topics have been covered for the ec students in their btec fiber optic communication system subject so the lasers led photodiode fiber optics they are very well known to the ec students the only thing is the last topics like photometry they have to focus 
and extensively in our instrumentation department of Gatewala, I am going to cover these all subjects. Next, the most important different subject, entirely different subject, which is obviously new for the electrical students and these students is process control and instrumentation. Actually speaking, process control earlier was a separate, but uh, in control systems, the title was process control, but the, this year, they have removed the title as process control, they have kept only control system, but it includes the process control syllabus. So, if you see the syllabus of control for process control, so the process control instrumentation syllabus is mechanical, hydraulic and pneumatic system components, synchro pipes, servo and stepper motors, servo walls, on off, PI, PID, all these type of control walls and controllers. So, this particular subject easily uh, accessible for the mechanical students because mechanical students have studied some hydraulic pneumatic components and some idea they have about the valve mechanism also, actuators mechanism also. But unfortunately, in these subjects, we are getting very, very less weightage, either one question and that also the questions are coming from control system basis like Jigler Nicholas method, okay, and the type of the controller, such type of questions are coming in this particular subject. So, the most important thing, instrumentation students. For instrumentation students, this is the new subject, but for this is a common subject for double E students. Missions is there for double E electrical students that are very well known for the missions, but this subject here for instrumentation is a newly subject. So, instrumentation students have to take care of these new subjects. They need no need to go to the depth of that. On our gate wala, we are having excessive information, sufficient information, actually speaking, more than sufficient information is available on YouTube one shot series or YouTube uh, crash course. Already different faculties have explained these missions in an elaborated way. So, in this one and two months, if they focus on this particular basics of missions, what are the basics of transformer, its equivalent circuit that will be useful for the gate preparation. Because these one or two questions marks will affect your rank. So, please keep this in mind. And for instrumentation paper, you are having instrumentation paper, it is new, okay. That electricity and magnetism, this is a part of EMT. EMT is also covered, okay. So, of course, instrumentation students will be worried about this subject. But as per my experience, the questions which are coming in from electromagnetic theory for the instrumentation will be very, very basic level. And for an EC person, it is an opportunity and missions is an opportunity. So, like this, instrumentation paper has been chosen and has been designed as a combination of different subjects so that electrical students can be writing the exam, EC students can written the exam and with a small effort, mechanical students also can write the exam. But of course, not a small effort, I am sorry, mechanical students will be very difficult. But if the B.Tech mechatronics, they, they can, uh, B.Tech mechatronics and B.Tech mechanical, if they are having some collaborated subjects, they can focus on this. If they really wanted to go into the M-Tech mechatronics, this is the best way to choose. Next. So, my dear aspirants, overall, the subjects that you are having extra are sensors and industrial instrumentation, optical instrumentation. Next, process control instrumentation. Machines, electromagnetic theory and some microprocessors, microcontrollers plus PLCs. So, these are the extra topics that are differing from the other departments of electrical and AC. If electrical and AC students can focus on these subjects, definitely your rank will be better. So, I wish you all the best for the students of electrical and ECE and of course, if any mechanical student, if you are willing to write, get instrumentation as option 2. Similarly, I wish you all the best for the instrumentation student to prepare well the differing subjects like machines and EMT. Don't neglect them subject. That subject can give you one or two questions that will be fetching your rank. I wish you all the best from the family of Gatewala.